The Roman city of Bath. Did you know that the Baths were... The Roman Baths. Roman. I, I, I got that. Did you? Yeah. I, I thought I was teaching you something. Um, first up, we are in Chelsea Road. There are several different areas to Bath. If anyone ever needs any Bath advice... We're there for you. And we're not talking about taps and hot water. We're talking about (laughs) Hey, you beat me to it. (laughs) (laughs) Um, This is called Chelsea Road. It is quite an affluent road. Work it out. The whole of Bath is affluent. But this road... Very affluent. Well, it's like more um, like towny, isn't it? It's, it's, it's like, like a, you know what I mean. A, like sub community. Yep. Yep. A suburb, if yep. you will. Oh, there's a denim Paul Smith shirt. This vintage. has been in a couple of our videos because they have not sold it. Because um, it's about several thousand pounds, I believe. It's Fifteen, I think. Okay. It's actually Close nice. Enough. It's nice. It's just. Um, so is that? What a beaut. It's just that I I don't want to pay fifteen pounds for it. I, I wish I wanted to pay fifteen pounds for it, but I just don't. That dragon ask shirt was what the kids call a tattoo style shirt. If anyone cares, oh, is it? Yeah. Y two K school disco vibes. Totally. You know, barb, panda pops, barb wire, Celtic bands, all that kind of stuff. I don't even know what that means. No. Nope. Before my time. Tattoo before kids. My time. Tattoo. Um, so, so we're back in the knits. We're in the men's knits. Obviously, that's the best place to start. I have been trying to encourage Austin to go straight to women's, um, and I do men's, but he just can't resist. How do, you, do you know? Oh, I can't even bother saying it. I can't what? even bother saying it. Because I, naturally, I, I gravitate more towards the men's, and I try and be such a good boy to go to the um, to go to the ladies. But I just not that was nice. I think it was. I want to say Lambswall. Um, but once again, it was you've like, got to watch the shrinkage on polo because I find especially people with the, instinctively that, wash them, especially with the more high end. Well, the thing is, I hate to say, but most people who buy polo are used to kind of cotton, which is standard, yeah. yeah. So then you buy buy something which is above average, and you treat it the same as you have your That's other sweaters. Or, it's not one you know. of those readily available brands. Anyway, so this is Paul Smith jeans. It's a nice sort of mall red knit, fifteen pounds again. Not too bad. I've That's just sold really nice. a PS by Paul Smith jumper for ninety. I found a similar blue one on Comps there and they went bids for. 39. I think if you listed it, you could do 60 to 70 quite easily with really good photos because their front photo was a close up of the label, which obviously doesn't show the gum. Yeah, and also to be fair, the, the, the actual gum itself, as you just said, doesn't really have any logo in on it. No. The one you saw recently is like a, like a logo mania style, yeah, all one, over print almost. Um, I don't know if we featured it in a haul video, but it had large all over PS Paul Smith. I sold it on Depop for £90 plus postage. Um, this one here, Austin does put it out in a minute, it's a pure example of. Of, um, sort of weird, I say trend driven Sty- style, I guess. Style, and picking on style, premium quality materials, but don't necessarily have the brand to back them. But will sell regardless on style and material composition. Personally, I actually absolutely love this. Um, I did, it's not everyone's cup of tea, I get it, but it's like a layering piece uh, for, men, for men or um, women. I think it's a vibe, or if it's in with that chore, chore work, yeah, it wear, is. A utility style like vibe. People would wear it with a shirt, then a jumper, then that over the top, then the coat. Um, I wear in the women's wear just you know picking up the grails. It. Um, this is seven pound fifty. This is N pill. N any... dot peel. Yeah, I say it because I got an accent. N dot peel. Um, they are a cashmere specialist brand from London and they make a lot of ski wear. They used to make a lot of ski wear, um, but they make uh, cardigans with fur trims, etc. And those are the ones you want to look out for. So 250 comp, size extra small, full zip cashmere there with the fur collar. This is a vintage label, which I think is kind of fun if I'm honest. Men's wear also and coats going for huge money. So it is one to look out for. And this is like a peachy pink. It is cashmere blend. Yep. um, And, you can see from retail that this was in the sale for 765 from a grand. Like retail is crazy on these items. Yeah, so we still respect with a vintage label. The style is still like very wearable. It's not it's, it's, it's not what I call contemporary, no. but it's classic. Yeah, I was going to say um, it's classic over contemporary for sure. I would still respect over the £100 mark and I probably will list for about 150 yeah. Um, based on sort of the more plain sort of I would, classic I would, I, cardigan. I would actually comps. expect it to go quite quickly at that price as well. Like yeah. if you if you were happy to take off as over a hundred, like it'll go. I'm just saying me and jeans on a video is a vibe. Okay. Yeah. I just, yeah, just passing that on for everyone. Yeah. yeah, oh no, I, I didn't don't, look, don't, don't doubt it, it. It looked like different. Like I only wear black and the blue was kind of like a ooh. There, there was a uh, Moschino knockoff bag there for anyone who has a, a, a good eye. I, like yeah. 
No, just, I, don't, I don't know nothing else to say, really. I just, it's, it's bad. You couldn't get your words out there. Always no, check. I don't know. I, I, my brain wasn't functioning. My, no. my mouth was. Always check the ties and belts. And I'm really working on scarves this yeah, season. Yeah, you put an Instagram today let about scarves. Let out Instagram. We also let out another Instagram about an issue that happened today. And that will be followed up in another video. These are True Religion. What I thought was really cool about these, obviously everyone knows True Religion is known for their heavy double stitching. All the double stitching you see here is actually just stitching. There aren't pockets. There aren't rear pockets. It was all just stitched on, which I thought was was really cool um they're like leggings though they were very very stretchy and they weren't necessarily of the fashion should no. we say like if you style can wise find the real low rise y2k you know the ones that are like uncomfortable to wear as regard the lady style yes yeah um and a slight kick flare mm. and the men's actually at the moment the baggy the better um yeah oversized like ju just very kind of retro 2000s -y, so but a lot of people would say skater-esque yeah yeah um like you know that baggy that baggy look yep does that make sense? Oh, I'm with you. Anything Y2K vibes. It's really, really weird, actually, because skaters um, across the board, whether it be Vans or Converse, or I know Converse technically, uh, um, Chuck Taylor's are technically basketball shoes, but I'm saying uh, skaters adopt a lot of core cool different brands. Dickies, Carhartt. Yeah. Um, skinny jeans were from skaters. Then baggy jeans back again were from skaters. There's a lot to said, be said for the style of skating. I found this. Now, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but blow it. <laughs> so this... I was blowing a trumpet. Thank you. This is Rafa, a Rafa collaboration with a company called Byraw. I don't know if I said that wrong. It'll flash up on the screen in a minute. It was a capsule collection um, bought right out. Right now. By Bore is a company you want to look out for by itself. It's a utility menswear company once again, and it is it does huge numbers. But they bought out a capsule collection. This is the T-shirt version of the jumper that we have in hand. Um, and as you can see here, retail for 265 euros for the T-shirt. And Long that sleeve. is a jumper that we have. And it's meant to be very breathable. It's meant to be like a piece that you can wear cycling and in a bar. Like, <laughs> Excuse me. Rafa is very, very, very on top of like tech fabrics. Sustainability um, and all that. Fun like, stuff. So anything they make is not only you know made well, but when they have a collaboration, they really go to town with the kind of the fabrics used and kind yes. of um, pushing that kind of envelope. There are no comps for this collaboration. So I am going to make those comps because you, you do know that. me... I'm a comp creator. So um, I, I find any collaboration with Rafa um, does great money anyway. Yep. Um, so any anything Rafa does great money anyway. So this is £5. It was in the women's section. It is not women's. It is men's because they did not create any women's pieces for this collection, unfortunately. Sexist um, pigs. I know. Um, but by Boar is a men's brand. Yeah. That may, would make that relate. I, I was just joking. Um, I'm going to push and see what happens. And you can all come along for the journey. I'm going to push for 150 to 175. I actually think if you're a rapper head, a rap, rap a head, rap head. a rapper head, um, which we People have dealt with in the past. Like rapper. honestly, the kind of the kind of questions you get asked while selling some of the rapper pieces, more there's more specific kind of techie pieces, mm. um, like grading and the actual piece and the the, the fit. It's like it's insane. So um, yeah, cool. It's got I like thought a that was cool. Back. It is a cool. It's, it's a really cool. If, if you thing. hold it and you feel it, you know it. It wasn't it wasn't a cheap garment to produce. Yeah. So I was really happy with those two pieces in this shop. And sometimes like um, Austin sh saw in a previous clip before you shout at me there were two really gorgeous sea salt dresses and they were like linen bre bre blend like Easy tiered maxi dresses and they were absolutely gorgeous and I would have like picked them up they in were a like heartbeat. 20 or something they were 20 yeah. each and I know those ones go for about 30 to 40 um, but just for our you know that go we don't back to, that's the dress there on the end right See on it? the left there, it's yeah. lovely yep. um, but it's Bethany just, just point at the screen while she said that like you could see her finger point at the screen I, I, I would wear it if it was black I'd wear it yeah yeah, because black is elite. Anyway, um, I would have picked those up, but once again, the the margins aren't there for, in terms of time, and obviously our back stock. Um, no, and like like I said, I, you weigh it up for you. You weigh. What it up do those for two you. pieces just cost us? Um, seven pound fifty plus five pound would would equal um twelve pound fifty for both. Yeah, so one of those dresses was almost double. Yeah. and I would get maybe my money back, and then some. Yeah, like yeah. you know what I mean. It's very different, and that's kind of how we work our business. So there's free on this road. Opposite is a mercy the children I always say mercy the children it's probably not even called that is it like, children in mercy I don't know that sounds terrible no, I don't does, know and I just feel really bad about saying it but it's, I love it I love it it's one of my favourite charity shops let's call it for the love of children yes this chain of charity shops I love yeah however this one is um, I don't mind it but it's just I, I find it quite hard if it, if, if it was a uh, character from a Disney movie it would be a villain 
it would be like a semi villain, you know, the one that flip flops. Mm. You know, I think they'd end, up, they'd end up as the one who double crossed you. Yeah. Anyway, so they have a <laughs> premium rail. They have these Kenzo joggers here, ladies uh, size small, medium, I think. Small, they yeah. They're forty pounds, which is a good price. So a take good take home price. They were uh, actually Kenzo, marked though. They, they said they were marked too, yeah, which Kenzo I find strange. Kenzo joggers are about two hundred pound retail. Oh, they're an extra small. Um, are about two hundred pound retail. So forty pounds seems like a good amount, but yes, the damage was. They're, yeah. they're also quite substantially used and faded. I'm not that I'm knocking them, I'm just saying that's a fact. So bear that in mind when you see these prices. Uh, this barber trench is actually, it's actually quite cool for fake, really. Do you know, I was going to say, it's the first ever barber trench I've seen. You see a lot of padded uh, coats and a lot of wax, but yeah. that was actually just kind of regular, more Burby esque kind of. As you would expect from trench. most trash shops, this designer reel had a lot of non designer stuff on it. Um, just like pieces that they enjoyed. And that's okay. This is, you know, however they I think they should do. be renamed designer in our eyes. And that's okay because was, everyone, everyone has a different or, aesthetic. Or like uh, favourites like the favourites of the week exactly that yeah. so this is a Sandra Rose dress Sandra Rose was the um, costume designer for Sex and the City uh, comps for this label are low 16 to like 25 however but look at everywhere par eBay so I think I think how they price this is they've gone onto uh, uh, Google and they've searched for the designer and you're getting comps like this from what first dibs, etc. You'll notice those are exceptional pieces. They're also vintage. So they're yeah. 70s and Different 80s era, dresses. totally different era. Um, so... It's this one was a, definitely more 90s. They're, they're more specialist pieces. Now, I don't, I'm not saying you can't get those prices. You can. You can do anything you want to do because the power is yours. However, you need to look into more specialist sites like Vestia, yes. Vest Dibs, etc., etc., etc. So to buy and that on eBay and flip it, you're not going to make that money. Those are not the eBay prices. So this is also why maybe sometimes we should not just concentrate on eBay comps and we should look at other comps if you're looking at going into those sorts of designer pieces. And they wanted £150. I wouldn't have paid that for that dress based on the no. fact that that label doesn't appear to have as much as a following as the older vintage stuff however you obviously can when we say that, that label yourself. we're not talking about that brand we're talking about the physical label yes because different time eras serve different purposes like Roberto Cavalli 90 stuff is and Y2K is going through the roof John Galliamo from the 90s exactly through the roof so it just depends on the time and what people are looking at at the time you know this is a nudie jeans t-shirt which was kind you of say nudie funny nudie nudie, nudie. You say nude Nude. E. E. That was one of those t shirts for five pounds, but it was kind of washed out and we left that. Those were Lokes for forty pounds. Yep. Um, they weren't exciting Lokes, they weren't wink it, they weren't fun. They had nothing to offer me we apart actually picked, from brown. We actually picked two pairs of Lokes up today for a very, very great price, which you'll see probably in the next video or so. Uh hang on for that one, folks. <laughs> Stay tuned, <laughs> as they about, say. Talk about spoilers there. Thanks, Austin. I didn't spoil um, I didn't say how much. Austin edited this video, so let us know how you feel. It's a bit more walky round and I, I, I I kind of like that. Austin's it's... touching stuff for no apparent reason. Yep, yep. flick through there. Can you tell Austin to did this video? Well, I, I, I'm hurt. my feelings are hurt one. And who walked past these earlier, smarty right. pants? I'm going to tell you and give you a story about give these. Give a backstory. I've been gatekeeping this brand for too long. These are Bluntstones. If anyone's ever no. noticed... Those boots on my feet. <laughs> Look at her face. Look my, at her face. The reaction. My red boots are Bluntstone boots. And I love my boots more than I love anything else in my life. Anyone knows that I would die with my boots, Literally. right? Literally. And I've been looking for a pair of used boots because I, I like to use them. And I tried these on. You know I did. Um, also, there's a whole like kind of subculture of having these beaten up and yes. used. And that's kind of what Bethany's into. So these, are, these were semi-new. The insoles have been removed and they were £30. Um, Which is fair, this is a fair price. Size eight point five. I was throwing hissy fit about the fact they weren't my size. I'm not going to lie to you. I tried them on; they were too big for me. However, there is this this thing with Bluntstone boots that they retail between one thirty and one seventy, and they resell for between one thirty and one seventy. Literally, there's no there's, there's no room, isn't there? No difference. I don't know what it is. They've also just started on their website um, selling them as distressed, like they, they call they call them antique. I think the don't antique they? brown yeah. boots. Oh. But based on that, which is fine. But that also it leads into the whole kind of goon goose thing that you can never really it's, tell how worn they are. It's actually great for the brand yeah. because the resale is so high. If you get a knackered pair, you can probably pretty much get them for fifty or sixty pounds. Yep. Like they sell, they resell really well, and if you ever like, see them, pick them up. You can buy children's used resale for like forty, like like baby ones. That's they, how much they cost. Yeah, they they they're um, exceptional. Boots. I would actually say for for that's one of the only brands I know of. Resale is pretty much. You're content Retail. they don't sell out. Like, like it's not like a thing that you can't buy. It's the same price. I think they do limited, like, colorways, color runs, etc. Yeah. I, I let you into a secret, top secret, that I got mine in TK Maxx for £30. 
Three pounds. Um, once again, they would have been a great. To be honest, I would have bought those even if Bethany didn't have them to sell. One hundred percent. If they had insoles, the insoles. I hate to say, but they're very, very comfortable. They're, they're kind of part of the boot, and with a boot to try and replace insoles, it's just not that's worth it. That's such a nice cardigan thing. It is lovely, isn't it? It looks like Missoni. But yeah, not. that's why I picked it up. But it wasn't okay, at all. Um, into the last shop on the street. They're free. There's free shops in the street, but they're all equally as good as you. Yeah, it, I guess it's just like any charity shop. It depends on the day you hit it. It's what you are looking for, and not what physically. You find physically hitting no don't do that lovely austin uh, <laughs> this shop has some niche brands which we'll get to in a minute but first austin is rummaging through the knits like for no apparent reason the rummager he is knitwear in this time of year as we sort of i say transition out of winter but god knows good luck with that yeah but knits are very popular this, I, I, I do find i'm season. not talking about like um i'm not talking about christmas jumpers although you do see a lot of those still this time of year there is a lot more knitwear being um, kind of added to charity shops and donated because I think people think kind of the last season's over, like you just said, because come kind of February, March, people are changing their, 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 their kind of vibe. vibe. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, I love picking up knits. Knits is one of my favourite things to sell, especially and look for those quality materials, cashmere, uh, wool, etc. This is another piece that on style would just sell alone. This is vintage Hobbs or older Hobbs, should we say, the old label. I just really love the style and the shape. I think, to be honest, that that's that's a sellable piece just based on that. Just based on shape and style. Sometimes, yep. like, you just got to trust your instincts with that. I know we're, like, the brand people, like, brands are our thing, and they but, will always remain our thing. But sometimes, like... Style is eternal. This is a classic uh, barber quilted style is eternal. It's a classic barber quilted coat, a jacket, whatever you want to call it. Cold jacket. Um, anyway. Whose jacket is that cold? I know. <laughs> it's 30 pounds. Do you know what? Um, it's not a terrible price, but it, sh it is used. And it was kind of, you know when that kind of quilted like loses its kind of puffiness? It's quilt. Um, yeah, less quilted than a quilt, you know. Um, they're, also, they're also about 79 pounds brand new. Yes, £80, that, that's, the, that, low, that, that that's the lower retail. When it yeah. comes to Barber, we get asked a lot about Barber, and I know people pick up a lot of Barber. It's a funny old thing, because we were actually shopping full price the other day, and Barber t-shirts are actually quite reasonable, you know? The stuff you really want to look out for is that like premium stuff, the wax, wax jackets. Wax, 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 um, I agree. The international, like, Same um, with Bell Steve staff. McQueen stuff. Um, yep. It's exactly the same as Bell Staff. You want to look for those premium materials. It's sort of not a blanket brand where everything resells well. No, and I, I actually think that's a really good point. Um, actually, we we um, there's a few bits and pieces we picked up recently, but from Barber, and they weren't like like Bethany said, they weren't wax jackets, but they were reasonable. So unless unless you're finding a wax jacket and you can pay a little bit more, the kind of the basics, if you will, t-shirts, jeans, uh, sweaters, stuff like that, will sell as long as you can get a decent premium. Mm -hmm. You know, we're also on the desperate search for love lamps at, at the moment. So if anyone vintage, wants to hook us up, proper lava lamps, vintage lava lamps. Don't ask. Um, I, yeah. Nobody asks. <laughs> it's not worth it. We bought, no, we bought uh, our small human a lava lamp for Christmas and we realised how cool they were. Now we want adult lava lamps. Hang on, no. Father Christmas got a lava lamp. Oh, yeah, Father Christmas. Yeah. I, I said Father Christmas. Slow your, slow your roll. I, I said, I, Just know what you're saying on the video, okay? I like that we're, <laughs> we're giving all you media people, all you electronics people, the cravings I left, that you need. I left this in because I, I never, like, I, I do walk around these places, obviously, but I never, I never, we never leave it in. Oh, I definitely never leave it in. And um, I, found, I found a game here, which I actually searched because I'm useless at games costings. I like retro games. I have retro games. I collect retro games. But as regards to the price, I'm not really up on it. But this went for like anything between like 15 and 30 pound, which amazed me. It was um, uh, ACDC rock, rock Band, I think it was. And it was like five quid. But there you go. I didn't buy it because anytime I look at gaming stuff, Bethany thinks I'm doing it for a personal um, for I personal do, reason. I do and the, leaves me there. I do the majority of listing. And I'm going to tell you right here and now, all you gamers may hate clothing, but I ain't listing a game. I'm not doing it. And the sad thing I is, just, it. The sad thing is it's so much easier to list a game, I would no, guess. No, it's not. It's, yeah. it's really difficult. I don't know what system it is. I don't know what year <laughs> it was produced. I don't know who can play it. Yeah. But, you know. That's what the people are saying about us. The gamers are saying about us as they watch this. So Anywho. Here's, here's some brands. So this is Graylin. Graylin. Um, this is an anthropology brand. Anthropology retail on this brand is very high. Resale on that's this a brand lot. is that, very low. That's a lot for uh, There are some sales in America, but they're not even high. This brand is Beck and Bridge. It is an Australian brand, and they also sell it at anthropology, but they also sell it in Harvey Nichols, Selfridges, and many other outlets. As you can see from the prices, they do do really well. Mainly America and Australia, but that's what GSP is for. Push those comps, guys. Push this this, this one was a day by um, burger. 
Yeah. Burger at Mickelson. <laughs> Mickelson. There you go. Um, it was a cool dress. Those three dresses we just saw, they were kind of uh, pricier for what they were. Um, and this is us kind of rummaging through to see the last oh, I, I found few a dresses. Par- what was this? Parizia, Ooh. Parizia Pepe. That's nice. She, she is uh, well known for her knitwear. Um, I have a couple of jumpers on in our store that haven't sold yet. So I left that one for someone else they can enjoy and uh, resell if they need. I think sometimes it's, it's kind of cool to pick up brands. Um, if you already have brands and maybe something that hasn't sold or hasn't sold as quickly as you think, I think sometimes it's better to kind of invest in something new and different as opposed to something which you... Really well, you know? I stopped picking up for bread and butter purposes. I stopped picking up uh, Hush because Hush really wasn't selling for me. That was a little bit of a downward turn in the market. It yep. just wasn't doing it. I'd agree. This week I've sold six or seven Hush pieces. And we've replaced them all this and week I've as well. <laughs> because it, because They're it, trends, aren't they? They're trend trends. driven. It ebbs and flows and, yep. it, you know, it, it does what it needs to do in terms of the market. And we set the market. We are the market. We, we are the market. <laughs> we create the market. Anyway, that's us, day um 11. And we'll see you tomorrow for more fun with the luxury pickers. Bye. Eat.